and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a clothes haul or like kind of like a random haul to be honest because there's some items in here that aren't clothes but it's just a haul, it's a haul. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a haul of like all the stuff that I've kind of gathered over the last two months or so just because I feel like I've bought quite a few bits and obviously I haven't been posting or documenting stuff that I've bought in a long time so it kind of just makes sense to show you things that I've accumulated. So yeah, I have quite a bit of clothes to go through and then I have a few like little random bits as well from like TK Maxx and that. I also feel really awkward right now because I'm filming this in my sitting room because the lighting is better in here. But all of my neighbours <laughs> have decided to just not stay in their house today and every single one of them just keeps walking past and is looking at me and probably thinking, why the fuck is this bitch talking to her window? Okay, let's get into the clothes. Oh fuck, there's more cars. What the fuck? Everybody frick off! I'm trying to have a bit of privacy. Are you not embarrassed? It's really embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. We actually can start with what I'm wearing right now because these are part of my haul and my new clothes. First thing we have is this t-shirt. You know, it's kind of oversized. Obviously it doesn't look great when it's like that, but I kind of like when it's like tucked and baggy, if you get me. What does it say on it? <laughs> Happy Ray of Sunshine. It's just kind of like a nice basic top because I never really buy t-shirts. It's just one thing that I never have. And then all I have is crop tops. I hate wearing crop tops. So I don't know why I keep buying them even though I don't want to wear them. And then I don't have t-shirts, which is actually what I want to wear, but I just don't buy them. I feel like in my head, I'm like, oh, they're so basic. Like I don't want to spend my money on them. But then they're always what I want in my wardrobe to wear and I don't have them. So the next thing that I'm wearing that is also new are these champion joggers. So they're just gray joggers. I've got a little drawstring on them and they're honestly the most comfortable joggers that I've ever had. They do look quite baggy, but I honestly love the fit of them just because they're so comfy. But I really like how they fit like around my waist and that. Only other problem is they're really baggy on my bum. So it gives me such a nappy arse. Like, but it's okay because I don't see the back. I just see the front. And I don't need to impress anyone with my ass, so. But I think I'm going to start off and show you like all the bottoms first and then I'll go through the tops and then I'll go through hoodies etc etc. So let's just start off with bottoms. The next thing that I have is another pair of joggers and I'm actually quite sad about this. I ordered them in a size 12 because I have been a size 12 in my bottoms for so long but since I've like gone back to work and I've been doing more stuff I've actually lost a bit of weight. You might not be able to tell but... I have lost a little bit of weight, so my size has changed. These are the joggers, okay? I love them. I honestly think they're the coolest joggers ever, but the only problem is they are huge now. They're still so cute, like the colours. I actually love the waistband and I love the little like tag here on the front. That's probably like my favourite pair. They do fit me better when I like roll up the waist of them, but yeah, that's kind of it. They are definitely going to be like my cosy house trousers because they're way too big for me to wear them out of the house, which I'm really upset about because I think they're so cool. The next thing I got were these shorts. I got them in Paul and Bear in the sale. I got them for, I think, about 13 euro or something like that. I was kind of like skeptical about the length when I was buying them just because they are a longer short than I would usually wear. I didn't know how it would look like with my proportions, with like my height and my legs being a little bit chunkier. But I really love them. I'm holding them tight right now because they have gotten too big, but they're still really cute shorts and I feel like with a belt, they would still be fine. I feel a little bit dumb like trying on stuff that doesn't fit me anymore, but they'll fit me soon. Another pair of shorts that I got were Nike Pros, which I have wanted for the longest time and I just never wanted to pay for them. I love how they look like big t-shirts and big hoodies. I don't know, I think when it's just like tight and then baggy, it looks kind of cute. When I bought this pair, I obviously fell in love with them and then I bought a purple pair as well. So I think these ones are shorter than my grey ones, but I still think they're really cute and they fit really comfy. Only thing I would say about Nike Pro shorts is if you're insecure about your cooter, um, if you've got a fat cooter, you probably will will be in trouble because self-explanatory. I personally always have to wear something big because I'm super insecure about visibility of the region. That's all for the shorts section. Now we're on to the jeans that I bought recently. I feel like I need to put boots on to show you these. You can't really see these very well but they are straight leg black jeans because all of my like big jeans are blue. These jeans are from Pull and Bear. They are a size 
10. So as I was saying, my size has kind of been changing and fluctuating. So I got these ones in a size 10, but I was about to buy the 12 until I took out the hanger and they were literally huge, like huge. Yeah, they're a really nice fit like in my waist and they're still like a little bit loose at the back, but you know, that's not a major problem for me. The knee slits are also like a little bit low just because I am not very tall. But I feel like when I have my chunky boots on, like they kind of balances it out a little bit more and they're more in the right place. I love these jeans. This next pair of jeans I am low-key obsessed with. I just love the mix match like denim pattern. I think they're so cool. I really love, I just really love like the whole patchwork kind of feel of these. I also like the cuffs are kind of like just cut off like ripped. As with a lot of people, like my main problem with jeans is I can't find them that they like fit nice up on my waist, but can also fit over my leg and bum. Again, these ones are like too loose on my waist, but easily fixed with the addition of a belt. Don't know what I wear with them, but it doesn't matter because they're cute by themselves. These next pair of jeans I actually bought even longer than two months ago, but when I bought them, they didn't fit. They were way too small but they have started to fit me now. So I just thought I would include them because they're actually one of my favorite pairs of jeans. These are the jeans. I only really like them with boots. I don't think I would get away with the fit of them with any other type of shoe, but I just love the fit of them on me. I think they kind of complement my body in a way that I like. And the fact that they fit me nice on my waist and on my bum and my legs is just a complete bonus because as I was just saying, I can never get jeans that do that. So. These are definitely a new favourite in my wardrobe. Don't know why I'm saying wardrobe because as you know I'm living out of bin bags. So I feel like we should kind of finish off on all denim. These aren't exactly jeans but they're pretty much jeans. These are the cutest pair of dungarees I have ever seen. I have wanted dungarees for the longest time and I just never found a pair that I really liked and that kind of fit me well and at a reasonable price so kind of all factors included. That's what these are. These are from Pull and Bear and they have such a cute little like stitching tag on the front and I just, I'm obsessed with them. Um, I got these in a size large, so I'll try them on now and show you how they fit. ta -da! Since they are a large, they obviously are like quite like an oversized fit. Like I have a lot of room to move. I also have like a lot of room in my pockets because they're not stuck to me. But I actually think these dungarees are my favorite thing that I've bought just because, I don't know, I just love them. I think it's because I've wanted a pair for so long and then I finally got a pair that I like. I just, I'm obsessed. I'm still trying to figure out like what way I want to wear them, like when I wear them with the two straps. I kind of like them with the two straps, but then I always see people are like taking off the one strap to be cool. But I think they look like really cute and like childish with the two straps up. So I kind of like them better with the two straps, with the two straps. So I think that is all about the jeans and denim part of things. So I'm gonna move on to um, dress and skirt section. I only have one dress and one skirt anyway, so we may as well get that small section out of the way. Right, I'm taking a juice break just before I show you this bit. <sighs> Cause I'm so out of breath and thirsty. This cute little brown daisy skirt I got from Pull and Bear. I got it in a size medium and it has like a really cute kind of drawstring detail down the side. You can tighten it and it'll bring it up shorter. It's just a really cute little skirt. It's quite basic, like there's nothing too special about it, but it's quite a cute piece at the same time. So then what I've paired with it is this little black top that I got from Zara, which just ties around at the back of your neck and it has like the little loop detail there at the front. You'll find that a lot of my like little tops and stuff are gonna be from Zara just because that's where I get like all my basics from. To go along with this outfit, I also have this cardigan. <coughs> so I just got this cute one from Pull and Bear. I got it in a size medium also. It has three little buttons on it and the sleeves. I quite like the sleeves because they're like long. Yeah, I think that was about 18 euro maybe in Pull and Bear. So the next and honestly last like dressy item that I have is this dress. As you can already tell, it's quite a saucy piece. Got it from Pull and Bear. It was 17.99. But this is the dress. There is something about it that I'm like, I'm not sure that I like on me. I don't know if it's like the side slits just don't fit my body right or something. It fits kind of nice, but again, as I said, there's something about it that just doesn't sit right with me. I really do like the color of it though. I think it goes quite nice with like my blonde hair. But I don't know, there's just something about it that I don't 
love and I'm not super excited to wear it. Next section that we're onto is like tops and bodysuits kind of genre. So the first top is this crochet little crop top. I think this is one of the most basic things I probably ever bought, but it's cute, so. I got this in polymer as well. I think most of my wardrobe at this stage is polymer. I ain't sorry. So now we're kind of onto like the Zara basics that I was talking about. This really looks like I'm naked. Like I could just put two little nipple stickers here and you would think that I was naked. My bad. So it's just one of these little basic like no sleeve basic kind of crop tops. I really like these tops because I hate having like my chest out. I love the style of this top so much that I actually bought three other colours. I don't really think there's much point in me trying them all on so I'll just show you but I got a white one which is a little bit see-through you can kind of see my nipples in it but fuck it. Black one and a green one. I actually really love how green looks on me now as well with my blonde and my brown eyes. I think it's a really cute colour on me. I got all of these tops in a size medium and they were $5.95 each. This next item is also from Zara. It is one of their like basic bodysuits that everybody has but this is my first one. So it's this cute blue colour and I am obsessed with the colour of it. I just love how this colour looks on me. I don't know, maybe you might not agree but I do. I do think it looks good on me. I got it in black as well because can't really go wrong with a black body too, you know, it will always come in handy. I got both of them in a size medium and they were $12.95 each. This is another Zara top. I still have mixed feelings about this top. Like part of me loves it and part of me doesn't. The more that I have it, the more that I think I love it. It is the like towel material. I don't know how to tie the neck of it because when I got it, it was tied different than this. But I obviously don't remember how it was tied. But it's just a cute little top, shows off a little bit of booby. You know, it's kind of cute. But it's also like really secure because it's tied. And the back of it is just basic like that. And then strings are really long because I don't remember how it was originally tied. But I got it on sale for $3.99 down from 10 So I honestly think it was a bit of a bargain. I don't know why they would put such a beautiful item in the sale section though. I don't know if it goes with blue jeans though. I think it could be more of like a black bottom type of vibe, but I'm not too sure. I think this is the last Zara item. You're sick of hearing me say Zara and Polar Bear at this stage. It's kind of like an orangey, yellowy type of vibe. Don't really know what else to say about it. It has this like little ruffle detailing all across the neck. I remember when I was buying this one that I wasn't actually that crazy about it and I didn't really want to buy it. But I was in like one of the moods where I just wanted to buy everything and like keep shopping. So I just bought it anyway, even though I didn't really have any reason to want to buy it. It's honestly not even that cute. She's not that cute. And she is not my colour. So the last top slash t-shirt that I have is this bright pink one that I got off ASOS. Again, it's just like another oversized, relaxed, chill type t-shirt. And I just think pink is quite a cute colour. Um, I don't even know what the t-shirt says to be honest. Couldn't tell ya. But this is another one of my favourite pieces that I've bought. It's this like blue pinky bubblegum vibes fleece. I got it in a large so it's quite like big on my hands and quite a big like length as well. Is there a cat in here? Oh my god there's a tin! There's a little tiny tin in the room. I have a tin in. Smile for the camera. It's this brand, but I'm too scared to say it in case I say it wrong. Burgos, Burghaus, Burgess, Burghaus. I think it was like 69, 70 euro or something like that because I got it with a discount. I also got a black fleece. I'm quite a big fan of fleeces. I don't know, I just really like having the neck up. I had a North Face like navy fleece that I used to wear all the time. And I got it in a charity shop for five euro and I've lost it. I have never been so upset about losing a piece of clothes. I honestly have no idea where it could even be, but it was my favorite thing ever. And it was like my comfort fleece. I miss her so much. So I had to buy two replacements, even though they'll never replace her, but I had to try. This one I also got on sale. Something was telling me that it was like in around 20 euro, but I'm not sure. But it's really comfy and it's like kind of a lighter fleece. It's not super warm. It's warm, but it's not like overly heavy warm because the inside is like not fleecy material like this one is on the inside, if you get me. But this hoodie is like the prime example of why I can't buy myself nice things because I've literally worn it twice and there is a stain right here from gravy and there is another stain on it somewhere. 
from coffee it was my favorite jumper but for the two times that i wore it and got stuff on it and i really was hoping that the gravy was gonna come out but it didn't come out <sighs> so i'm a little bit upset because i've only worn it twice which is not really fair because it's gorgeous i liked it it's really comfy it's really cute but i can still wear it at home just not outside of my house because it's stained this last hoodie I'm also obsessed with. I know I've said that I'm obsessed with it literally everything that I bought, but it's true. Let me be. This is a less like tennis vibe gray sweatshirt. This is a size 10, but it is really oversized as you can see. This hoodie is also another example of why I can't buy myself nice clothes because I literally got cow shit on it the first day that I wore it. The first day that I wore it, I had it on for about not even two hours. Didn't even have it on me two hours before I got cow shit on it. Which made it even more depressing because fair enough if I'd like wore it a couple of times and then got cow shit on it, I'd be like, okay, well I've, you know, I've got the wear out of it. My first day, my first two hours, cow shit on the back of my new sweatshirt? You're kidding. So this is the last piece for the clothes. The sitting room is such a mess right now. You can't see, but there's just piles of clothes on this side of the couch. And then there's a stack of clothes here beside me. And there's also clothes out in the hall from when I was getting changed. So I'm just hoping that I get everything cleaned up before my mom comes home. But don't panic because there is still more items to show you. Shoes. I am not really much of a shoe girl. I have had the same pair of Air Force for like three years. I did finally buy a new pair like a couple of months ago. I got cute ones with like a little sage green tick and a little bit of pink on the back. But again, Air Force basic is fat. And then I have a pair of Converse black high top ones. That is as far as my shoe range goes. So I bought these. So I got these. I haven't worn them. I think I got them, I got them like over a month ago, to be honest. But I'm just, I don't know how to wear them. And because they're like high tops, I'm not used to feeling them like that high up on my leg. So they're feel kind of uncomfortable. But I know it's just something you have to get used to and like wear them in and stuff. But I haven't done that yet. But they are really cute. Like I really like them. I just personally don't know what I'd wear them with, how I would wear them, if they are my vibe. But I want them to be my vibe because they're fucking sick. Fannies. This bag has been sitting here for a while because I knew I wanted to do this video, but I don't think I actually bought really much in pennies anyway. I got these, a three pack of seamless, seam, seamless, seam free wireless sports bra, bralette things. And I just thought the colors were really cute. Like, tell me they're not cute. They were only 12 euro as well. I got them in a small because I don't know why I got them in a small actually, because I never buy anything in a small. Oh. Now I know why I bought them this small. A small is a 10 to 12, which is weird because I always thought like a small was like a six to eight, but that must be extra small. So makes me feel better though about being a small. Oh yeah, okay, no, I didn't get much in pennies. The only other things I got were socks and pants that I'm not gonna show you because that's inappropriate. The last couple of bits that I have are from TK Maxx. I love TK Maxx. I could literally spend all day in there. The candle section, love. Homeware section, love. Notebook section, love. I just fucking love it. So the first thing that I got was a blonde shampoo. It's a purple shampoo, it's geo oil. I don't know, blonde violet shampoo, shampoo for blonde hair, contains keratin, argan oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, moringa oil, jojoba oil, macadamia oil, silicone free, paraben free, sulfate free, anti-pollution, UVA and UVB filters, pH balance 4.5 to 5.5. Uh, I've only used it twice, so I can't actually tell you if it's any good. There was no service in the TK Maxx that I was in. Usually I like to look up the stuff first and like look at the reviews and that because obviously I have never heard of this before, so I don't even know if it's good or not. I did pay 17 euro for it, so I kind of was hoping that it would be good. But the next thing that I got in the hair care section was a Miracle Repair Hair Mask. It's Organic Botanic Australia for damaged, coloured or dry hair, vegan and cruelty free. Honestly, the reason that I bought this is because I thought the tub looked cute. I like the colours. Looks cool on the top. It was nine euros. I don't know. So then I went into the skin and bath section and I got this Coco Rose body scrub. I have actually already used this and I loved it. It made my body so smooth. The last thing then that I got in TK Maxx was candle. This is a pumpkin spice latte scented candle because basic white girl, full time, autumn check. It has like a really cute latte lid on the top. Mm, it smells fucking delicious. I wish you could smell it. it. Smells really good. 
But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and turn on post notifications so that you know every time that I post. Thanks for watching. Love you.